Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to model these ice cubes and make a material for them in Blender 4.0 on a MacBook Pro, M1 chip, and 16 RAM. But first, we're going to modeling the ice cube. We're going to make two different ice cubes. Let's start with the first one. So in a new blend file, press A to select all, then press X to delete it. So start with press shift plus A to add a cube. Go to modifier and add a subdivision surface. Make it simple and change both numbers to three. Also add a bevel and just leave it like this. Then add a displace modifier and drag it so it's over the bevel. Click on new and go to the texture and change the type to cloud. Change the size to 0 0.33. Go back to the modifier and change the strength to 0 0.5. Then right click and shade it smooth. Then add another subdivision surface and change the viewport to 2. Then press F2 to rename it to Ice Cube. And for Mac users like me, press Fn first, then F2. Now we've a Ice Cube. Now apply the modifiers. So if we scale the Ice Cube, they are working properly. Then press H to hide it for now. Now for cube number 2. So press Shift plus A to add a cube. Press Tab button to go to edit mode. So this is the Tab button just right over the caps lock. Then right-click and click on Subdivide. Click on this thing over here and change the numbers of cuts to 4. Then go to Object Mode by hitting the Tab button. Go to the Modifiers and add a Bevel Modifier. And change the amount to 0 0.6 inks. And then change the segments to 3. Then right-click and shade it smooth. Add a Displace Modifier. And click on New. And then click over here and change the type to Voronoi and change the intensity to 0.22 and change the size to 0.11. Go back to the modifiers and change the mid-level to 0.119. Then add a subdivision surface and change the viewport to 2. Then press F2 to rename it to Ice Cube 2. Now apply the modifiers. So if we scale the Ice Cube, they are working properly. And here we have two ice cubes. Let's make a material for it. But before we start, go and change from EEV to Cycles. So go to Shadings. Select Ice Cube 1 and then click on New and rename it to Ice. And then over here, press Z to switch shading and click on Render. Let's add some lights so we can see what we're actually doing. So press Shift plus A to add an area light. Press G plus Z to move it up on the Z axis. And then go to the light settings and change the power to 500 W. Press S plus 5 to scale it by 5. Then click on the Ice Cube 2 and press Shift plus Cube 2. And then press Control plus L to link the material. Now make sure both the Ice Cubes have the Ice material. Now let's set up the HDRI. So go to World. Click on this yellow dot and select the Environment Texture. Click on Open and choose you HDRI Image. In the description, I linked the HDRI I used, so download that. So go to the render settings, then unfold the film. And check the transparent, so we have the HDRI affected, but we can't see it in the viewport. Now back to the ice material. Press Shift plus A to add a noise texture. Now press Shift plus Control plus the noise texture. When you see this gray noise thing, you know you did it the right way. Press Control plus T on the noise texture to enable the Node Wrangler. So this is how enable the Node Wrangler. Go to Edit, then Preference. Click Add On, then go to Search and type in Node Wrangler. Check the Node Wrangler, and here you go. Select the mapping. Press X to delete it. Then plug the object to the vector on the noise texture. Now change the scale to 4, and change the detail all the way up to 15. Now plug the fact to the roughness, then press Shift plus Control plus the principled BDSF, then change the transmission all the way up to 1, and then change the IOR to 1309. Add a color ramp and place it between the noise texture and principled BSDF. Then change the white value to 0 0.766 and change the black value to 0 0.416. Change the black color to hashtag 525252. Then add a bump node. Plug the fact to height on the bump node. Then plug the normal to the normal. Change the strength to 0 0.2. Select your color ramp. Press Shift plus D to duplicate. And then place it between the noise texture and the bump node. On the color ramp, we just duplicated change the gray value back to black. Then change the black value to 0 0.447. Change the white color to hashtag 666666. Now change the base color to full white. Select the noise texture. Press Shift 
plus control plus D. That means we duplicate all the settings and not just the node, even if we are going to change them a little bit, and then press shift plus control. Select the noise texture we just duplicated. Change the scale to 1, then change the roughness to 0.8. Select the bump node and press Shift plus D to duplicate it, then place it just after the other bump node. On the second noise texture, plug the fact to the height on the bump number 2 and press Shift plus Control plus Principled BSDF. And on the bump 2, change the strength to 0.06 and your texture nodes will look like this, so you can pause and take a screenshot. And here we have a ice material. And here is my results. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like my tutorial. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing, and feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and videos.